residents in Hoat Yachts kicked off Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show Week in the Magic City as Florida Yachts International, global yacht influencer The Yacht Guy were hosted together by Aston Martin Residences Miami, discussing the yachting lifestyle and the world-renowned metropolis that is Miami. special Hoat Residents and Hoat Yachts presentation today. We've got an outstanding panel group that's joining us. Really great panelists here coming live from the Aston Martin residences here in Miami. And as we let our viewers join us, I want to go ahead and open it up to each of you, starting with you, Ralph. What is your biggest takeaway then through going through the pandemic? Uh, what, what was that again, April? Sorry. What's been your biggest takeaway from going through the pandemic? I think uh, in, here in, in, uh, in Miami, it's been the unity, you know, everybody working together to take care of each other and to make sure that uh, we get through this together. It's been, it's been a great experience for us uh, seeing how our community has come together, you know, in these challenging times in the pandemic. Well said. The Yaka, how about you? Well, um, it's been great to see uh, people co -op being so cooperative, you know, and like Ralph said, taking care of each other, making sure um, we can do business, but we can all do business safely, you know, and from home. And one person not expecting so much from the other, like, hey, I need you to be here. And if you can't, that's it. Now it's more been, can you come? No, you can't. We'll work. We'll find a way to make it work. So that's been that's been really good. Well said, Polly. How about you? I think that as a city, we're extremely resilient. We're a young city that's able to change very uh, quickly and adapt. And I think there's no better example than Miami um, in North America for a city that has been able to weather the storm quite effectively uh, with our. Uh, with the help of our, you know, um, the community as well as uh, leadership in the city, it's been absolutely incredible, and and the business community as well. Thank you, Polly. So, as everyone knows, it's Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show Week that we're going into. So, we're really going to kick off a great discussion today with a, a gorgeous residence that's here on the water, world class city, Miami, the magic city, of course and some true experts in the yachting industry. We're thrilled to have each one of you. Ralph, we're gonna start with you. Ralph Navarro from Florida Yachts International, CEO and founder. Ralph, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you guys. It's an honor being here in this beautiful, majestic building that's gonna make the Miami skyline the most beautiful skyline ever uh, and on the water. Which is, which is what we do for a living. Uh, very excited to be here with you guys. Thank you, Ralph. Next, over to the Yacht Guy, global super yacht influencer. Thrilled to have you here with us today, Alex. Thank you so much, guys. It's always a pleasure. Um, this is gonna be fun. And I look forward to actually doing this in person the next year, so. Next time in person at this gorgeous development. Absolutely. Holly's gonna invite us all. Absolutely, you're all invited. <laughs> Thrilled to have Polly Hankin, Director of Sales here at Aston Martin Residences, Miami. Polly, thanks for joining us. Thank you. We're happy to welcome you in person or virtually. Um, our offices have been open since um, we could be reopened, and we're very excited to have the building meet um, its milestones despite the pandemic. So, very exciting. Polly, let's start with you. Kind of talk us through how sales have been and how they've continued to go for Aston Martin Residences Miami in these last several months and specifically what people are looking for that are purchasing here. So um, thank you, April. We have had um, great success uh, in the, throughout the 2020. Uh, the location speaks for itself. 
we are over 60% sold, which is an amazing feat wow. accomplished and with, with this magnificent building, 391 units. Uh, we have an amazing branding partner. And as uh, ownership would say, we're not building with the brand. We are building, we are a brand that is building a sky rise in Miami. So uh, we're very excited to be here. Uh, the dynamics of the location of the building, uh, as I mentioned, speak for itself with the marina at uh, almost 500 linear feet with a 15 foot draft depth to accommodate large yachts. Um, as you know, during the pandemic, everyone's been looking for outdoor activities and we are extremely well positioned with our uh, 40, over 40,000 square feet of amenities um, that we offer in the building, indoor and outdoor pool, as well as uh, beach access and our magnificent marina, which is the subject matter for today's uh, panel. So, so our guests can arrive, our residences can arrive by style in by land or by sea. So it gives them that accessibility. Truly spectacular development. And your team is actually in the middle of presentations right now as our Zoom is going on surrounding me. So very active over here and just a, a, lot, of, a lot of tremendous interest. Ralph and you know everyone on here, the yacht guy included when you're in Miami, um, is very involved in our community and really making the Magic City a, a spectacular place to live and to work. Ralph, I know that you've done something very recently to honor the first responders. Can you kind of talk to us about that? Yeah, April. Uh, it was a it was a very humbling experience to uh, <clears throat> to bring on board, uh, you know, the first responders, which is the front line of dealing with this pandemic that no one really knew what we were to face, and how they just took on the seriousness of risking their lives. Doctors, nurses, uh, you know, police officers, uh, and firemen and paramedics. And uh, it, was, it was great to hear, you know, their commitment uh, to being involved and not being afraid to put their lives on the line. And it was, it was just a great experience for us to be able to welcome them. And uh, we gave them a day on the water and shared their experiences. So it was, it was very special for us. Really, really beautiful. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you. The yacht guy, over to you. Hope Living and Hope Residents are all about luxury. What can you tell us about social distancing in a yacht and about the yachting lifestyle specifically here in Miami? Um, I think it's the perfect place to do the yachting lifestyle to begin with. Um, you know, as you know, I'm always down there when um, things are better, um, usually two or three times a year whether it's with a halt or with uh, another brand and um i'm always on a boat and so if um if i'm not in the city hanging out with you guys i'm probably on a yacht somewhere hanging out and uh scooting around town um the best part is you've got all the marinas you've got you can pull up to hotels you can pull up to clubs and you can not only live the yacht life but you can live the miami life you know and there's not too many cities in the world where you can take the boat and actually move it around and end up in different locations. So you've got great places like Monaco, right? But your your park, your, your dock in Monaco or more in Monaco, and then the rest is walking, you know. But with Miami, there's so many places on the water, uh, in on the in a coastal, on right on the coast, uh, Miami Beach, up and down. So it, it's just really fun. So if you're going to live the yacht life, I think uh, Miami is the place to do it. And specifically, what was your takeaway from the Aston Martin residences in Miami? I know you were here when construction started. What's your biggest takeaway, Ben? So the, the, the backdrop, right? So when I went there, I saw the building. It was still, I think, like I said, the foundation was still being put in, which was two or three years ago. But um, the fact that you're able to pull up, dock your yacht right there, and then have this amazing brickle back backdrop, you know, of brickle um, was really, really cool. Um, we ended up going out and then coming back in and going under the bridge, going up a little bit of the ways through the canal and, and then back again, cruising. 
So um, if anybody's going to go there, I think that's the place to go to get the ultimate backdrop right in that city with all the lights. It's really cool. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. Polly, over to you. The first Aston Martin DBX in the Americas arrived here, joining the Vulcan that's here already. What impact to, from working together with the Aston Martin brand, how has that been for you? It's been exceptional. As you know, uh, our uh, branding partner is truly a partner in this venture with us. And um, the partnership has been amazing. The DNA of the brand, 114 years of history coming to Miami, of all the places in the world coming to Miami, our magnificent city. Uh, the DBX, uh, we've been following the DBX. It's the first SUV for Aston Martin uh, with their new factory in Wales. Um, and it, I can announce today officially- like They're all showing the car. Yes, that, that, it, that it arrived today into the United States. It's the first DBX to come to North America. We will be showcasing it here for VIP guests. And we will have a uh, Miami Riverwalk edition version of the DBX and the DB11 for 47 bespoke uh, residences here at the Aston Martin residences when the building is complete. So very exciting. Outstanding. I have to say every part of this development um, to me is perfection from the moment you walk into the sales gallery, which again is, is very similar to a, a residence. Um, it's perfection from start to finish and the views take your breath away and it's just tremendous products and the Aston Martin brand is spectacular. Really beautiful. Ralph? Going over yeah, to you, back uh, to Yachty. Uh, Alex, um, Polly has been nice enough to let us borrow the car next weekend. So if you can come down, it'd be kind of nice so we can go hang out That's in, this perfect. Beautiful, in this beautiful car. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, can I get a request though? Can I get uh, a bigger, some more leg room in there? I didn't fit. The last time I tried getting it, I didn't fit. So can maybe you can adjust me. <laughs> No, not a problem. And by the way, the license plate will say the yacht guy. Perfect. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you, Polly. You're welcome. <laughs> Ralph, talking about, you know, it is boat show week for the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. You held your own boat show back in February there at Florida Yachts International before the pandemic took a hold of everyone's lives. Um, how did the event set up for the rest of your 2020? And I know you have something coming up as well. Well, I can tell you that, you know, like, like most uh, business uh, businesses here in Miami, um, we got a, a little nervous when, when we started this pandemic. Um, we still have a lot of work to do, but it's been great for business. Um, this week, we are celebrating the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Um, we, we have a lot of clients coming to town to look at boats. Um, today, we had a very busy day at the show, uh, showing boats all day. Um, and I'm here in, uh, in one, of our, one of our boats in our beautiful 68 Princess 2017 FOMO uh, that's uh, seriously for sale. And um, we're just very excited with everything that's going on and how people are now coming back to the water and realizing that it's kind of a safe environment and it's created a big boost in our, in our yachting economy. Um, we can't wait for things to get a, you know, a, a more normal for everybody, but it's been just great. Uh, we have, our issue now is lack of inventory. So when something comes available, you know, it, it, um, it flies. So it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a great couple of months. Uh, the show is showing that, you know, people, there's seriously active buyers and, um, and people are starting to enjoy the water more. I 
sorry about that. I was uh, muted for a moment. Ralph, we have someone writing in. They want to know what the name of the yacht is again. The yacht is FOMO, F-O-M-O, and it stands for Fear of Missing Out. Well, there you go. Thank you, Ralph. Alex, now over to you. What yachts have caught your eye lately? Oh, man. Um, there's been a few. I mean, the Explorer yachts have really been, been hitting the market hard. Um, Amazing. Damon has launched some crazy, some crazy Explorer yachts. Um, Lurson just dropped that giant uh, Project Opus. And then um, you've got Fed shit that today I was looking at Tom Van Olsenen's page and they've got a, a, an Explorer style yacht that they're, they just pulled out of the, the shed. So um, these Explorer yachts are amazing. I think people want to see more parts of the world, but they want to feel really safe while doing it. You know, so you got a yacht like Ragnar that is literally the the. SUV of yachts, it, it can go anywhere, you know, Patagonia, Alaska, the Antarctic, and do it in style. So I think that's what's been catching not only my eye, but I think everybody's eye, these super explorers. Thank you, Alex. Welcome. Well, Polly, over to you. There's a lot of, a lot of developments are going up in the Magic City right now. A lot set to be completed in the next year, the next two years. Outside of the um, obviously spectacular views here of the water, what do you think is the biggest takeaway someone should have about what sets apart Aston Martin residences? Well, um, our location at 300 Biscayne Boulevard Way is the last parcel of waterside land in Miami in the downtown Brickell corridor. So it sets us apart. Uh, we have almost 500 linear feet of uh, marina built into the programming of the building. There's direct access from the ocean uh, to the ocean with no bridges. So you're directly straight into the building. And, um, and we have an amazing butler service that we'll, we'll have in the building um, and provide exclusive private yacht services that will take, um, take you directly to enjoy our beach club and other amenities uh, throughout the city. So it truly sets us apart from, um, from the rest. Thank you, Polly. Ralph, you know, Yachts from Florida Yachts International, no stranger to the waterways here, the docks here. How excited were you when you learned that this development was going up and you saw the designs? Well, I, I think that, first of all, they're doing an amazing job because to doing the type of construction, the massive construction that they're doing, uh, right at the mouth of the river with a beautiful skyline and keep everything so perfectly clean. And, you know, like it, it almost looks like there's no construction going on. I can't wait for the building to be finished because if they keep things so neat while they're under construction, I can't wait to see when, a, when this building is completed. Um, I saw for the first time today the finishes in the, in the showroom. And I can tell you this building is special and Having this access in the marina and a beach club and being able to have quick access to the ocean, it's just, it's like, like Paulie said, it's just not available in Miami any longer. And we ran out of, 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 of water. Uh, so it's great. I mean, uh, being here and having all this dock space for people to be able to come and, and come by water in this beautiful city that offers so much today. Uh, you know, our, our culinary experience in Miami has changed. Our, the quality of our buildings, our branding, Austin Martin, who would have thought that Austin Martin would come to downtown Miami? Uh, it's pretty spectacular. And um, it's just the water access. It, it's just for business. It's great. Uh, for us that have been in the water all of our lives, we embrace it. And I, the only thing that I'm upset about is that they didn't give me the dock for me to manage. You know, I want to own the dock because it's so beautiful here. Uh, but everything else is just, just spectacular. Can't wait for the building to be finished. So location wise and 
you know, access to, to all that the Magic City has to offer by water. Just the way you see it, right, Ralph? Yeah, it's great. It's just, just a great location. And, you know, the branding, the building, the building design is absolutely spectacular. So it's just going to make Miami skyline that much more beautiful. Thank you. The yacht guy, over to you. Shoot. Tell us about some of your upcoming projects. Well, um, the yacht, so we, for the years I've done the, the Instagram thing, um, we've done the YouTube thing, we've done Facebook, and um, I think it's becoming Instagram for the luxury market is becoming very trendy where everybody who's in the luxury market, no matter what capacity, has to have a, a social media profile, right? And the sharing of photos, whether it's theirs or not, is just now become a regular thing, right? So I've always shared people's photos, credited along with my photos, but now people are starting pages and it's a full-time business where one guy will own 10 watch pages and he'll just keep posting photos and photos to gain followers so he can sell advertisement. You know, and it's the same for every um, demographic. So whether it's watches, yachts, cars, you name it, um, that's what they're doing. They're just creating tons of pages and trying to sell ads. So the authenticity of the influencer has just gone out the window. So right now I'm working on trying to actually purchase a yacht and I've got one in mind. I'm talking to a few friends. It's a big project going on and we will be doing um, the Yacht Guy Live from on board my own yacht. So that's what's coming up. And soon. also back here in Miami, of course. Well, it's going to move around. You, you can't so, dock it in New Hampshire. <laughs> 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 no, we cannot. No, but uh, it, it'll it'll move around. It'll be a, it'll be a moving talk show. I guess you can call it a guess talk show. But um, I think it'll change it'll change it up a little bit because uh, it's just like I said, the monotony. You, if you watch my page, you know I've, I've posted a lot less. Uh, somebody says feel free to come down to the Caribbean with it. I, I'll be there for sure. Um, yeah. but the, the monotony of uh, of social media has gotten so so um, hard, you know, where there's no originality, everybody's doing the exact same thing, and their only goal is to, uh, to gain followers, where there's a lot of us, you know, some people are in the market for work, some of us, like myself, I do it for passion of yachting, I just love boats, you know, and it's been a dream of mine, and um, I think being able to show people the dream come to fruition is the next step for me. Very nice. Thank you, the yacht guy. You're welcome. Holly, talk to us about, about value. So again, taking a snapshot look at developments that are going up, projected to close out in the next year, the next two years. Right. Talk to us about a price per square foot marker. So um, the value has always been on the city side in Miami. Historically, the beach has always been um, more expensive than the city. And we see, um, you know, with projects, with magnificent buildings um, like Aston Martin, uh, the value is to still, you know, be at a very reasonable price. We're at $1,000 a square foot. However, the amenities, the quality of life, the design, the Aston Martin um, uh, DNA and authenticity of that brand coming to fruition in the magnificent building still is affordable uh, compared to the beach and certainly compared to other uh, world-class cities in the world, whether it be here in the United States um, or elsewhere. You look at uh, London, Monaco, uh, Paris, Hong Kong, uh, New York, San Francisco, where um, we're still at a very attainable price per square foot standpoint as compared to our, um, to our other cities in the world, world-class cities. Thank you very much, Polly. Ralph, from a yacht perspective, what do you th what do you think your takeaway is? <laughs> from a yacht perspective, I think that families 
are now coming together and voting together. Uh, I think what's happened has added perspective in our lives. And uh, as an example, I have my son with, his gran with my grandson coming down from LA for Thanksgiving and we'll be yachting for five days from Miami all the way down to Key West. So it's become, and, and there's, and, and it's been, um, uh, even to get dockage because everybody's in the water. So from a yacht perspective, it's just great. It's, um, it's, it's brought back memories. I remember when I was younger, you know, I want, I, all I wanted was to be in the water. And then technology came in and that changed the, the, the demographics a little bit. And our new generation um, didn't care so much for the water. And then what has transpired brought people back to the water, uh, a safe environment, an environment where it's contained and people feel more comfortable being together. And I think from a yachting perspective, it's just, just amazing. And as an example, uh, you know, Tomorrow night, we'll be hosting our first event of the year after, after the event that we did in, uh, for, the, for the Miami show at our place. We'll be hosting a, a wine tasting and we already have 200 plus RSVPs, you know, in, you know, in, in a week's uh, notice. So people are starting to come back. But when you say yacht and when you say boating, it's, it's, it's crazy. Everybody's dying to come and be on our boats and drink a little bit of wine and, and start living life a little bit more normal. Thank you. Thank you, Ro. The yacht guy, let's talk about global destinations for yachting. What are your top five cities? And I hope Miami makes the list. Let's hear it. Well, I think Miami, of course, makes the list. You cannot own a yacht and not come to Miami or the East Coast of, of the United States, to, uh, you know. So let's, let, I'll, give you, I'll give you five here and then I'll give you five in Europe because um, if you're in one, it's not like you're gonna go back and forth. You're either, you, you're either here doing five or you're there doing five. You just so, don't wanna uh, get fired. <laughs> <laughs> so um, if you were on the East Coast, I'd just work my way up from the south, um, start in Florida, hit Miami, work your way up to Fort Lauderdale, come up and hit the states on the way up, you know, Maryland, New York, um, New Hampshire, um, Martha's Vineyard, Rhode Island, you know, and, and then once you've done this up here, scoot over across from Greenland, um, make that crossing, the Atlantic crossing, usually owners let their captains handle that and they fly over. And then hit countries like, I don't know if it's specific cities, but I say just hit the whole country, Ireland, um, Spain, mm. France, Monaco, and then just go right around. I mean, any specific city is hard to say, this is where you want to be. Because uh, after four days of being docked somewhere, you're like, all right, I got to get out of here. Let's move somewhere else. You just that, I, I get that excited. I'm ready to go on to the next place. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. Polly, if there's, talk us through the timeline. If someone purchased a residence here at Aston Martin Residences, what's their timeline that they're looking at? Sure. So we have just hit our uh, 50 our 50 percent milestone in the construction phase. We're currently on the 30th floor. So we'll be delivering the building in, um, in at the end of 2022, and uh, residences will be able to move in immediately. The units are completely finished and move in ready. And um, so we're we're just two years away from uh, in a five year construction cycle. So as Ralph said, it's, um, it's been very quiet, if you will. It's probably one of the cleanest construction sites I've seen. And uh, you know, we've been in the market for, um, our company's been around for over 50 years. So uh, we've seen a lot of high rises over, you know, over hundred buildings that we've represented. And this has been just one of the, it's been a pinnacle um, for us to see the construction and how well it's been maintained and the pace of construction has continued 
through the pandemic on schedule and, and uh, here we are, very exciting. Thank you, Polly. Ralph, talking about destinations from here, you know, here in Miami, easy access markets that you can yacht to. Um, talk us through that. If someone has a unit here, they're keeping a yacht here. Talk us through that lifestyle. <laughs> you know, first of all, um, if you have a unit here, it's absolutely amazing. There's so much to do on a weekend in Miami. Um, you know, you can go directly from your from the club right into your uh, Austin Martin residence, get on your yacht, and we have Nixon Beach, we have Elliott Key, you know, we have a bunch of nice restaurants down the river uh, that entertain on the weekend. Um, there's just a lot of destinations that you can leave for Miami. We have the Bahamas, you know, our first island 58 miles away. Uh, it's just, it's just a great location for you to enjoy the water. Um, I, I love the river personally. I have, I'm attached to the Miami river because when I was growing up, I, I, we did a lot of cruising in the river. Uh, and I've seen it grown throughout the years and the last 15 years in particular, I've been major growth in the Miami River. And I think this building is, is going to be a big stamp, you know, because it's right at the mouth of the river. So it's such a beautiful building to see just when you, when you, when you uh, water, when, you, when you're using your boat right by the river, see, see this beautiful location. It's just spectacular. Um, definitely, uh, Alex, I... I have to disagree with you, uh, and I'm not going to be political about it. The number one yachting city in the world, it's Miami. Yes. Okay? <laughs> Just so you know. There you go. <laughs> Don't be afraid to say it. <laughs> Thank you, Ralph, for setting the record straight. <laughs> Alex, talking about Miami, what are the best months to be here? For the yachting lifestyle and your own. um well i think a lot of people go well people who don't know who haven't been to miami will assume to go in the summertime but summers in miami can be brutal because it is so hot um and even though i don't think there's ever a bad time to go out there um my i prefer um maybe late summer or early spring where it's a little cooler at night, um, but in the day it's it's warm enough to get out on the water, and then um, down right around fall or the autumn season, it's the same thing. You, the the temperatures cool down. You can actually be out on the water, be outside, because in the middle of summer, you're not going to be outside. Yeah, you you're gonna you're gonna fry. So <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> So the best times out for me, I think, is spring and fall. Uh, Ralph might disagree again, though. I, I disagree. <laughs> I, I think I think Miami's special all year long. There you go. Okay. Look, you got you got people like April. They like it 80 degrees and up. Okay. And you like you like people like us that we don't care what temperature it is, whether it's below zero. But I can tell you. And my wife made me discover this this summer, okay? There's nothing wrong with having a bottle of rum and enjoying the heat, okay? I'll have to, so I'll have, to have you show me that one day then. It's not as brutal as you think. Once you're on your third glass of rum, you don't feel the heat anymore. <laughs> okay. There you go. So, <laughs> yeah, but I disagree. I think Miami is good all year long. And in the summer, you just got to adapt to the temperature. Well said, I agree with you, Ralph. Polly? Yeah, I, I go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, I, I agree. I mean, I think uh, uh, for me personally, this has been the first time in, in, in many, many years that I haven't traveled outside of Florida. Um, I've been here since January, which is unprecedented. And I've, uh, it's really been an amazing experience 
uh, to adapt to because of the social distancing, et cetera. As you know, our indoor restaurants were closed for a number of months during the summer. And I just felt like this summer wasn't as hot as other summers. Maybe we just got used to it, but Miami has truly become a 12 month city. Uh, it used to be so much more seasonal years past and it really has become a seasonal city. We saw a lot of families visit here over the summer and you know, the season continues with our different demographic or di different visitors that come throughout the year. So it, it, it's just become a much more dynamic city um, and livable 12 months out of the year. Thank you, Polly. We have some more questions about the car. <laughs> Can you talk us through the car again? Uh, okay, so the, the, a couple of cars. So the car that you see in the background behind Ralph is the Aston Martin Vulcan. And that is a limited edition car. It was, uh, it's edition 16 out of 24 cars that were built in 2016. It's our closing gift for our uh, upper penthouse, our unique triplex uh, penthouse. And it is the last Vulcan available. So in the world of Aston Martin, if, if you know um, cars, this was the, this won the Le Mans race. Uh, when it was first introduced to the market. It is not street um, ready. It's a racing car and um, it's absolutely magnificent. Of course, it's a Miami edition version. It's a uh, white as it should be. And uh, it has all of the detailing, the DNA of Aston Martin, of course. Um, and then the other car that we were talking about earlier, April, is the DDX, which is the first Aston Martin um, SUV that uh, has just recently launched. I understand that there's a three plus year waiting list for the car um, if you were to go to, um, uh, to your dealership, uh, local dealership to order the car, there's a three plus year uh, waiting list. We uh, are receiving the first DBX for the building. It will be our house car. Um, it just arrived to the port in the United States today. We are having a VIP event to celebrate the DBX, the first DBX in the Americas um, in the coming weeks. And, um, and we have 47 signature units within the building um, that have either the DBX or the DB11 Miami Riverwalk edition as, uh, as a uh, gift at closing for those units. So it's a Miami Riverwalk edition um, it's the first time in the 114 year history of Aston Martin that they've actually named a capsule collection, if you will, after a city. And of course it had to be Miami. So we're very proud of that, very excited for, for the building, for the residents, and of course for our beautiful city. Thank you. You know, you know I love you, Alex, but do you hear what she said? Yes. She said Miami. <laughs> we love it. We Miami's our, you know, we love Miami. <laughs> We're ganging up on you now, brother. Hey, hey listen, I wish I was there with you. <laughs> Truly the magic city. <laughs> I bet. It definitely is. <laughs> hey, we got we got rain and cold up here right now, so I I wouldn't mind being in Miami right now. <laughs> Let's, let's talk about crossing the Atlantic, Alex. And this question is gonna go over to you too, Ralph. Alex, how large of a yacht do you need to have here in Miami to cross the Atlantic? Um, I gotta be totally honest, I am not sure. I know it, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a short trip. Um, I spoke to a few captains and they said something like uh, two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Ralph can correct me on that. But um, uh, I've seen guys, I think some guy rode it in a, in a robo in a, in a, in a robo. So a couple of, a team of guys might have rode it, but <laughs> I, I, I would say if, I wouldn't want to do it if I wasn't on something big and safe where I felt that uh, it can take on some random storm, you know? Um, so how big of a yacht you need? I don't know. How big of a yacht would I want to cross it? If it was me, uh, 250, that, that, that would make me feel safe. All right, Ralph, over to you. Well, I think crossing the Atlantic, uh, I've done it once, uh, won't do it again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> crossing the Atlantic, uh, it's not a matter of size. I think you can cross it in, in, 
in, in, in different size boats, the issue is having the range, having the ability to have enough fuel to do the crossing, which is normally somewhere between 15 and 20 days, depending on weather. Um, but uh, definitely, I, I kind of agree with Alex. I want to do it in something very, very comfortable. So, because you can predict the weather now a week ahead. Uh, but then after that week, you're, you're kind of open to all different scenarios. Uh, so I, I, would, I would like to be in something 160 foot plus. All right. Those, those swells, the smaller the boat, the bigger those swells feel. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Polly, over to you. With everything that's been going on um, through these past several months, have you seen a greater influx of residents or former residents from the Northeast, from the New York area? What have you experienced here? I think we're, uh, yes, absolutely here in, um, at Aston Martin, we've had um, uh, buyers from the Northeast as well as from the Midwest, from Chicago specifically. Uh, a lot of interest also from California. We have buyers that have purchased here from California um, just look, you know, now that schools are open um, this morning, looking at my son's carpool lane uh, and dropping him off there, you know, and he goes to school here in the neighborhood. Um, there's certainly, for the first time ever, we're seeing New York, New Jersey uh, license plates. I'm seeing California license plates in, in the neighborhood. Um, so Nebraska, Oklahoma. I mean, I'm just like, maybe my eyes are fixated on everyone's license plate. I'm just trying to figure out, but we're seeing Michigan. Um, and Illinois. So very exciting to see um, the, the fantastic reception that we've had in the state of Florida and specifically in Miami uh, from, from elsewhere in the country. Ralph, taking it over to Florida Yachts International and your location, what have you all seen? Uh, I see a lot of New Yorkers, a lot of Californians coming into town, uh, some people from the Midwest, um, and, but I saw that trend before the pandemic. Uh, I think that Miami's becoming such a, a, a Mecca all around. And that's the reason why I know Polly and her team chose Miami to be the place to put Austin Martin and Austin Martin naming for the first time, Miami as one of their, their cities. So, you know, it just shows you that, and that was happening prior to the pandemic as well. So I think that Miami's become a landmark. Uh, it's become a landmark for South Americans, Europeans, uh, you know, people from up north. Um, so it's just a great melting pot. So the city has so much to offer and it's still so, and it's so vibrant. You know, it's so alive in all areas and it's great to welcome, you know, all these people, uh, you know, coming from California, you know, from LA, from New, from New York, you know, just kind of nice seeing them come in and bringing the culture of their cities to Miami and adapting to our culture. It's just spectacular to see it grow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Alex, the yacht guy, with all that you do, you know, being a super yacht social influencer, what have you seen and heard on your end? in regards to Miami and a demand for the Miami market? Um, well, like I said before, um, it's been great to see, I don't know if I said this while we were online, but it's been great to see um, a lot of the, the big mega yachts um, because of COVID, the upside was they couldn't go to Europe. They couldn't go to the Caribbean because everything had shut down. So they had to stay here. And, in, and because of that, um, I think the economy got a little bit of a boost. You know, they all had to stay here, visit, fuel up here, um, get their food and, and everything here in the States. And um, I'm up here in the Northeast and we've seen some massive yachts coming up the East Coast, up into Boston, Rhode Island, um, up into Maine. Um, and that's what we wouldn't typically see. They were up here you know, but because they could not go to Europe. So I think that was a good thing. Um, I think 
being able to, most of them always go back down. Like right about now, everybody's headed back to uh, the Miami area. Um, so some will be in flips for, for what's coming up now for flips. But um, the, the nightlife is, is Miami. If the Florida, the yacht life, like I said, if you want to live that nightlife and vacation and shop and eat, um, the diversity and everything you want is going to be in Miami. And I'm not just saying that a kiss butt, guys. I mean it. <laughs> it, it, it really is out there. It's, it's, it it's, took I, you a while to admit it. Listen, I just, I just don't want to get beat up again. <laughs> no, but it is. And, and you see it. You can see you can track the boats. I, mean, I see a lot. Of, I get a lot of photos from around the world. And even though the boats do get up here, up north, this time of year, they're starting to head back down. You'll see Utopia V down there. You'll see um, uh, Bella Vita. All of them, all of them headed right back down that way. So it, it's great. Thank you, Alex. I'm glad you got around to it. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. <laughs> if we go to Alex's point, just look at the lifestyle that we offer, uh, the, the world-class restaurants that we have now in Miami, which wasn't the case 15, 20 years ago. Just in the neighborhood of Aston Martin itself, we have Cipriani, Zuma, Novikov, we have Il Gabiano, um, and then the museums, the Adrian Arsh Center, the, the American Airlines Arena with Miami Heat. There's just so much, the dynamics of the city and its connectivity, the ease of access with the, with the airport, with the port, um, and also with the, with now with the version trains has made it just the perfect place uh, for um, for you to drop your yacht in front of the building and, and call this home forever. I mean, truly world-class restaurants here. And that's something, you know, that I remember from many years back wasn't necessarily here. The culture, um, the sports, as you touched on, it's really a world-class destination. Polly, for someone, if someone put down a contract now, what is it, are there any... Um, amenities, is there anything that they could experience now if they contracted in for a unit prior to the building being completed? Other than viewing our magnificent sales gallery and experiencing the, experiencing the culture in the neighborhood, um, unfortunately we're in a construction site and uh, the building won't be ready for another, um, you know, uh, 24 months or so. So, um, not yet, but we can always have a glass of champagne and walk to any of the restaurants in the neighborhood and enjoy the lifestyle there. And so, we can always accommodate which, uh, somebody coming to, the, to our, to our uh, marina. Also, starting on Monday, April, FYI will bring anyone that wants to visit the showroom by water so that they can experience the actual beautiful water ride on a yacht right to the Austin Martin residence dock, get off, view the showroom, buy a unit from Polly, and then get back on the boat and come back to our marina. I'll take you up on that. Want me to send my address here in New Hampshire? Not a problem, but it has to be from Miami. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that'd be a fun ride. <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer. Disclaimer. My, Miami to Miami. <laughs> Ralph, back over to you, looking ahead, looking to the remainder of 2020, moving into 2021, the demand for the Miami market, the yachting lifestyle, do you see that continuing to increase? I think that, I, I think we're in a huge, huge boom. And I see a huge increase in people wanting to get out of the water in all sorts of sizes from 30 feet and up. Uh, people are just to realize how beautiful and how nice it is to go boating in Miami. Uh, so I do see the business increasing for the rest of the year and, and, and continuing to 2021. Um, I, I do see that there's gonna be a lack of inventory and there's also gonna be uh, a waiting period um, if you buy a new boat, I mean, Boats are, some, some brands are backlogged, you know, where you have to wait a year, a year and a half to receive your boat. So it's gonna be interesting. I think the business is there. 
uh, I think it's definitely going to be continue to be a seller's market. Uh, yachts are going to be demanding high tickets. And um, it's just great. I think we're going to see a continuation of 2020 into 2021. So a continued increase. Yep. Alex, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, I think COVID has changed everything, the mindset for everybody. And um, the first time it hit, everybody was found themselves stuck in their houses. And watching social media, they're seeing the people that bought yachts prior to COVID uh, staying on their boats and just scooting around on their boats and being able to, to uh, um, what do you call it, uh, quarantine on a floating home. So once people were allowed to, op when things opened up again, everybody was like, you're not catching me having a quarantine in my house. I am totally buying a boat. So if something happens, we can enjoy being out on the water. Worst case scenario, we have a yacht, we have access to it. We can get out on the water and, and, and spend weekends out there with the family. I mean, being on the water for me personally, there's nothing like it. I mean, it, it's just tranquility at its best. Um, you get to just sit back, enjoy the smells of the ocean, if that's your thing. Some people enjoy the woods, whatever, uh, but uh, we're talking yachts. So if, if you're into the water, I mean, have not, there's nothing like having a boat. In Miami. <laughs> you got it, Alex. You finally got it. You finally got it. We broke you in, Miami. You know, I know, I know you got a lot of friends around the world and in all different cities, and you want to make sure that you don't disrespect or insult. And I, I agree with you. All those cities that you mentioned in all those countries you mentioned, they're absolutely breathtaking. And the yachting in all those places absolutely amazing but there's nothing like miami miami's one miami is one that's for sure there you go polly if if there's someone that wanted to come in and take a look at a unit now is there a way that you can actually showcase different in a in a visual way different residences different views absolutely absolutely we can do everything that. virtually we have a virtual tour of our sales gallery as well if they are not able to come uh, in person. And we have everything available uh, either here in person or virtually, um, as well as providing unique experiences by virtue of um, a, a VIP construction tour that we can provide uh, for, for a client who needs to absolutely see that view corridor. And we do have uh, the actual views that were taken from different levels in the building um, that we can showcase uh, either virtually to them or in person. And talk us through this too. What are the upsides of purchasing now? Um, maybe a little bit more of favorable pricing versus closing when the residences are completed. Available for two things. One, as you said, is, you know, um, better pricing as the building, as inventory shrinks, prices tend to go up. That's the nature of the business. And uh, secondly, it's the availability of the inventory. Uh, we are almost sold out of certain lines in the building um, and we continue to sell on a monthly basis. So the, um, the availability of that inventory shrinks and we hope to be sold out by the time the building is completed. So they may not have, an, uh, have the, a unit to choose from by the time the building is finished. What's the starting price for residences right now? Right now we're just over $700,000 for a pied de terre and uh, our average price is about two and a half million for a, uh, a two or three bedroom unit. Thank you, Polly. Ralph, it's a, a nice photo of the yacht there. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. I can hear you perfect. Okay, so in one sentence, leave us with this. What would you wanna tell a person that's looking at different global destinations to purchase and be based from about Miami? Well, I think that first you have to come and experience Miami. If you have never been here before, uh, things have changed in Miami. Uh, Miami's become you know, very versatile and 
and it's become the place where everybody can be together. We, we have a city that's so diverse uh, where all different cultures can be in the same neighborhood and, and it's, it's absolutely great. So people from our, all over the world uh, just had uh, a client from Ecuador that came in this morning uh, for the first time, comes to Miami, uh, buying a yacht and it's gonna have it here as his second home. So it, it's great because all of these people from all over the world are starting to experience uh, our lifestyle. And once they experience the Miami lifestyle, they don't wanna leave. And that's why they wanna keep on coming back. Um, and that's why Polly is taking advantage of this beautiful city, building this beautiful landmark here, the Austin Martin building. And that's why they're successful. It's just once you come to Miami and you experience the lifestyle, you just make it home. Very well said. Polly, how about you? Well, I think that, um, you know, uh, the pandemic was a reset for everybody to think what's important in their life and, and what matters most. And I think family, quality of life, uh, the outdoors all have become front and center ahead of, you know, being a workaholic and, and working in a cubicle. So we offer that lifestyle, the tangibility with the water, um, you know, the, the, the magnificent Atlantic Ocean that surrounds this, this city, the weather being a uh, 24 seven, 12 month a year kind of um, uh, city in terms of beautiful weather that we have. And I think everyone's thinking about, if I'm going to have an amazing experience, I need to make it count. And Miami checks off all those boxes. We have everything that you could imagine. Uh, we, we're banking capital as well as, you know, having all of the amenities of a, of a, resort, a resort town, all built into a magnificent city. So that's my 10 cents. <laughs> Very well said. Alex? Uh, well, by, by the end of this, uh, it takes me a while to catch on, but by the end of this, I've, I've learned that Miami is the place. <laughs> it's, it's, if you need to go anywhere, it is Miami. I mean, who doesn't love Miami? I love Miami. He loves Miami. You guys love Miami. Miami is the place. And, and if anybody's watching, doesn't go to Miami, Ralph is coming for you. Just that simple. Well, that is absolutely true. He's on his way to show you right this beautiful building coming up here. Look Amazing. at that beauty right there. All right. So I want to leave it with you guys. Come by a place at the Austin Martin building arrived by yacht with the yacht guy from FYI and moved to Miami. You hear that, Alex? I, I got you. Miami. Yes, I'm moving to Miami tomorrow. Paul, it's been a pleasure being here with you and you can count with FYI for anything you need. And can't wait to see this building finished. Me neither. We're very excited. Ralph, I know you're having a get together there at Florida Yachts International tomorrow evening. Anything you want to share about that? About maybe yep, we're having our, our first event, a wine tasting tomorrow at 5.30 at FYI. Uh, you're all welcome. Anybody that's viewing us, and Polly, all your staff, everybody can come. Uh, we'll 5.30, some uh, really good wine from different countries. And we can't wait to share it with you and uh, start uh, getting this back to normal. And yacht service to the Aston Martin residences? That it starts on Monday. Anybody that wants to come see a residence of the Austin Martin, they can coordinate with me, call me or with Polly, and we will bring them by water so they can have the yachting experience to the dock of the Austin Martin residences. So let's go through best ways to contact each one of you. Ralph, starting with you. Uh, you can reach me at fyiyachts.com. Or you can call me at 305-796-3893, and we will take care of everything. Thank you, Ralph. Polly? You can reach me direct uh, via my mobile, 24-7-786-385-4450. And, um, or you can reach us through our website, astonmartinresidences.com. Thank you, Polly. And Alex? 
Uh, you can find me at my new place in Miami this week. I'll be moving there. <laughs> and or you can email me at the yacht guy at ymail.com or direct message me on Instagram or Facebook. And I usually always get back to just about everybody. So um, that's it. And there you go. It was a real pleasure having each one of you with us today. And thank you so much. You guys really brought the Miami yachting lifestyle to life. Thank you for having me. Thank you, and thank you all. Thank you, guys. See you later, guys. I love Miami. Thank you. Bye. Take Everyone care. stay healthy and safe. I, I love you too, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> uh.